Rose Kabuya is the chief protocol in the Rwandan government. She was arrested in Germany at the Frankfurt airport with a warrant arrest from France on the 9th of November 2008. The German government say they did inform Rwandan government that if Kabuya was on a private trip, there was a warrant for her arrest pending. And so they went ahead and followed the law. Well, our official position is that we have, uh, since learning of uh, uh, Madame Rose Kabuya's arrest, we ensured that we protested the normal protocol. Uh, we protested to the German government. Yesterday we called in the German ambassador and uh, indeed we protested to him and uh, we expressed our shock and uh, disappointment at the fact that Rose had been, uh, the chief of protocol had been arrested, arrested when she's on diplomatic duty, when she has a diplomatic passport and when she has diplomatic immunity accorded to people who are on functional duties uh, that are related to diplomatic uh, work. Rose Kabuya's extradition to France has sparked a conflict of words between Rwanda and France, and Germany has found itself caught in the line of fire. The German ambassador to Rwanda was asked to leave the country, and in return, Germany did the same. So, what is the real story behind Rose Kabuya's arrest? In November 2006, French judge Jean-Louis Bruguier issued nine arrest warrants for leading Rwandan figures who are close to Kahame, the current president, and who French authorities suspect of involvement in the plane attack that killed the then Rwandan president, Juvenal Habrarimana, and its crew, which included the French pilots. Rwanda's genocide began hours after the plane shot down on April 6, 1994. France says Kabuya may have housed Tutsi militants accused of shooting down the plane. Her background of how she happens to be there is that um, it's in relation to the old and ongoing case, uh, which I should say uh, that exists between uh, Rwanda and, and France. Uh, a case where a village judge in, in France uh, assumed the uh, powers to try uh, people, government officials in Rwanda, and uh, she happens to be one on the list of those who, uh, according to that judge, uh, in a case that uh, uh, he thinks involves them. Rose Kabuya was flown from Germany to France and has been preliminary charged by anti-terrorist judge Marc Trevedic. The French judge stated that the charges were complicity in assassination in relation with a terrorist enterprise. Kabuya has since been released from police custody, but may have to go under judiciary control. Uh, Rose Kabuya was uh, really uh, courageous and uh, had a great dignity in the, in the file, and that she, she was ready to defend the truth, and she came quietly until the last minute of the procedure of today. And we began very, very early this morning. I, I met her for the first time at 8 o'clock in the morning. Until the last minute, she kept uh, wool dignity. We are proud to be her uh, lawyers. Rwanda has something to accuse France of. France has nothing to accuse Rwanda of. So what they would like to do is to make you in the media believe that this is a tit for tat, Rwanda is doing this and France is doing that. that. And I think um, this goes back to the, the level of the lack of appreciation of how serious this is. France was involved on the side of genocide planners. France participated in the genocide in this country. It's been widely documented. Kabuya and her team may be celebrating now 
But these charges may bring down some of Rwanda's powerful government ministers, including Kabuya herself, and her temporary release will not bridge the wide gap created by her extradition. Rose Kabuya maintains her innocence. Get